thing in short review. Set not long after the events of the movie, the 81 movie, this has you as a military captain in charge of a team going to check out what went down at the American camp with another team sent to the Norwegian camp. And after really briefly being at the American camp, you go to the Norwegian camp. And then the game kind of takes a turn for the worse once that is out of the way with a really derivative, dumb, cliche plot. And several of those words describe the dialogue in this as well. However, while this is the enter the matrix of this franchise, meaning rushed, licensed game based on a movie that people love, and yeah, with a lot of... It's, it's not a good game, but it is a guilty pleasure if you really want to fight things, and some of the time it gets the atmosphere quite right as well. You control a squad, and you have to make sure they trust you, and don't think you're the thing. You have to keep them from turning into the thing by making sure they're not hit too much, and you have to make sure they're not too afraid by keeping moving, because they get afraid as they move around and see the gory stuff that you find in the aftermaths of con conflicts between humans and things. And these, the trust and fear systems work pretty decently and make it feel more like you're dealing with actual people. Sadly, they never become actual characters, in part because you never really spend enough time with the squad and the fact that they have no personality. Partly because a lot of levels start with you suddenly alone, even though you were just with a squad just before it loaded the new level. And a lot of the game is sadly spent wondering where you are, where what you're doing, and why you're there and doing that. It does get the claustrophobia with nice tight hallways that you are now yourself moving through instead of the camera being dolly through them. And the isolation of the setting and the chilling cold, the potentially deadly cold, is done nicely enough. It is a third-person shooter, and because of things like only being able to actually aim in first-person perspective, where well, you can't move, no vertical control of your camera except in the stationary first-person mode, not terribly good enemy AI, and the fact that the thing is not really supposed to be action, the game has left a lot disappointed, understandably. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.